And you can be coming. My father will pour on him, speak in teeth, speak in tongue, speak in other way around. Yes. Even do midnight for you. Yes. But your heart is like a stone that cannot be laid. Yes. After he pray for you and say you are healed, you will still go back and call him. Daddy, that sickness will disturb me. After he minister finish, he will prophesy to you. He will deliver you. You will see meeting. Daddy, pray for me. Who have done you this? Mm. Where is your belief? Only what? Belief! Let's go down. For he had only one daughter, about 12 years of age, and she lay dying, but as he went, the people chopped him. He went, the people chopped him, and the woman having an issue of blood, 12 years, which has spent all her living upon physician, neither could be healed of any. This woman has passed through this operation for 12 years. She has even gone to native doctor, gone to all manner of faith prophets, gone to any way to the chemist. She was not healed. Praise the God. And the Bible said, by her belief, she was healed. And this woman said, neither could be healed of any, and came behind him. Verse 44, came behind him and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her issue of blood snatched. Praise the living God. That is to say, it ceased. It stopped at that moment. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all the night, Peter and then that were with him say, Master, the multitude trust thee and praise thee. And says, Thou who touched me. And Jesus said, Somebody has touched me. Somebody has touched me. For I perceive that virgin is gone out of me. Praise the living God. Okay. Hallelujah. This man is a church council. An official in the synagogue. He don't believe. He wants to carry Jesus to the family for family deliverance. For laying of hands. The book of Mark that gives account of this thing says, This man asked Jesus, Come and lay hands on my sick daughter. Mm. But this very look did not capture that one. Mm. That is the revelation there. You are coming here to preach it. The message, the declaration is not enough for you. You want the man of God to lay hands. You want him to come for family deliverance. You want him to come and deliver you the man. Where did you keep your belief? Mm. Where is your heart? And the Bible said, when this woman has done what? Has touched the garment of Jesus. Yes. Something happened. Yes. A miracle took place. And Jesus turned and said, who touched me? Yes. Because this very touch was not like others. Others were piercing. Others were touching him. But he was not feeling anything. Because these ones, either they have received their blessing, mm -hmm. or they don't have the heart to receive. Yes. Or they don't need any blessing. Yes. Are you getting me somebody? Yes. Yes. There is somebody that is this one. They yes. have come to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And this very woman did what? She touched the garment of Jesus. And Jesus said, something has left me. And Peter said, Master, how can you say this? Don't you see that we are very here? Have you not prayed? Is something wrong with you? You said, no, I know what I'm saying. Power has gone out of me. Power has gone out of me. A virtue has gone out of me. Because something left him and entered the woman. Because of the belief of the woman. Yes. And Jesus asked, who touched me? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, somebody has touched me. For I perceive that it is gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not here, she kept trembling and falling down before him. And she declared unto him before the people for what cause she had touched him. And how she was healed immediately. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Do you know that what the woman did was wrong somehow? Mm. How can you just come to a place you don't know? You run to the master and you went and touched him. Mm. And Jesus asked, Who touched me? But when the woman came, she said, Master, I am the one who, I am the one who, see, I have a case that I have gone to many places. See, I have a problem that I have gone to many places.
blessings. But by the day of garment, I was seen, and Jesus was surprised. He says, See this man who, that was carrying me to his house. They were to perform a miracle. But look at this one. This one is not carrying me. I don't even know her. She was in the world. She has gone to many places. She never believed. But now she believed and she received. And Jesus said, Thy faith has saved thee. Yes, sir. Only what? Believe. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. Go in peace. The woman believed and received secretly. Secretly. She did not make an open announcement. She did not discuss it with people. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me give you an advice. If you went to a market and you, you want to buy something, you see somebody that is selling something, and this very thing you like it, don't ask for another person. Come and see this thing for me. Praise the living God. That is how many of you have lost what belongs to you. True. You want to buy something and you know that that thing is Yes. And that's how the person will say, no, that the thing is it is matured. But do you know what? The price is too much. Tell yeah. him to shut it. Yeah. Maybe mistaken as the way you be. You command that place. 